Hey guys, TM Pokemon here, and yes, the hype season has started. Pokemon Go Fest 2021 has been announced. It's coming soon, and we got some details today. This is crazy, and the first thing I want to get to is it's going to be $5. So I think Pokemon Go here is going for like a really inclusive kind of Pokemon Go Fest because $15, yes, not everybody can pay that but five dollars i mean that's literally a third of the price it is amazing i'm a big fan of that and i already bought my ticket <laughs> i can't wait for the event i already bought my ticket i am so ready but as you can see there's some pokemon on this screen and that is going to be talked about right here so they said that we're very excited to welcome google play as an official event sponsor okay interesting but we got Pokemon Go Fest 2021, day one, catch, okay, Saturday, July 17th, 2021, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., make sure you're not doing anything July 17th or 18th, because, yeah, this is going to be crazy, so, you all get the following features, whether you have a ticket or not, okay, so, hourly habitats are back, this year, we'll, we'll feature four themed habitat hours, so, eight hour event we'll get two of these right like two of each of these things so the jungle habitat will feature pokemon such as scyther apom froakie and more i have a shiny scissor well uh shundo scissor which is cool so i mean i'll take another shiny scyther but uh not the highest of my priority i don't have a shiny apom so i'll really take that i actually kind of like the shiny apom color so froakie can't be shiny so fortunate but just rack up those candies for when it is uh has it have a community day the desert mountain habitat will feature pokemon such as skarmory shieldion hippotus and more unfortunately for me i already have like four or three or four shiny skarmories so i do not need another one of those but shieldion and hippotus don't know if those can be shiny but there's obviously more there so desert you know you can rock and ground types most likely you can just think about it then we got the ocean habitat will feature pokemon such as dratini which i still need the shiny in that week with even dratini spotlighter and stuff i encountered 1500 dratinis i think and not a single shiny so not very lucky on that end but swablu swablu community day just happened so not really an exciting one to be added in there i don't know why they would put that in there but okay a little mola a really rare shiny i got lucky and got it on like my third raid but yeah i have that shiny and more of course and then raids on saturday will feature pokemon such as hit mon top so that's a brand new pokemon right there of course we have hitman lee and hitman chan but we don't have him on top yet so that's cool to see cranidos and dino okay D wait dino is gonna be in raids oh i hope cranidos is shiny is out because it's a really nice shiny and i would actually really really go hard for that maybe that's a hit maybe cranidos is no 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 i wouldn't I was going to say July uh, Community Day, but no chance because because uh, they wouldn't put, like, you know, they want to make money off it before they release Community Day. Dino is really cool, though. Plus, Galarian Ponyta and Galarian Zigzagoon wearing special costumes will be appearing in raids. So those will be shiny and wearing special costumes. I'm interested. Uh, I want to see Obstagoon in a weird costume. That would be pretty funny. Okay. Pokemon related to music, such as Chimichau, uh, sorry if I messed that up, Cricketot, Audino, and a special costume Pikachu will be appearing in the wild throughout the day. Oh, okay, so that's in the wild. It's, it said rays, and then now it says wild. Uh, okay, um, I'm not sure. I think Cricketot, I knew Cricketot when I saw it in the Logos tree, but I don't know if that's in the game right now, to be honest, because I don't have one. I don't know if it's just because I don't have one. And then it says, get ready for Pokemon Go Fest with a free event shirt item. I don't use any of these shirts because I love my onesie to death, my Gengar onesie. So I will never use anything other. Um, then we got Shiny Whisper, Chimchow, Audino, and Timple will be making their Pokemon Go debut during the event. If you're lucky, you may encounter one. 
So that's four shinies right there. Shiny family of Temple is pretty good. Shiny family of Whismur is all right. Whismur is the best of the three, in my opinion. Chimichar is a pretty cool shiny. Aldino is just rare Pokemon. Average shiny. I'm a big fan of, uh, what is it, Palpitoad? No, I don't remember the name of the final. Seismitoad, there you go. Seismitoad is Temple's final evolution. That shiny is actually really nice. It's nice, like, green and orange. Okay. And then on Saturday, July 17th, okay, uh, ticket holders will be able to enjoy the following features. Oh, so this is just ticket holders, okay. It's a musical event. You'll be the show director, help director, uh, celebration by choosing between certain Pokemon to join the festivities, okay. So, okay, and put on an incredible concert by choosing between certain Pokemon. So wait, you get to choose? Okay. The team leaders put on an incredible celebration by choosing between certain Pokemon, okay. So, obviously, if you choose Pokemon, um, certain type of the event, kind of like Cantator, green and red, you get certain Pokemon, okay. Um, including an encounter with a mythical Pokemon, a shirt, avatar item, an exclusive avatar pose. Okay, you get a pose? Okay. Um, uh, poses for 500 coins is kind of eh, in my opinion, so I'll take a free pose, I mean, it's nice. After you complete the special reacher, take a snapshot for a surprise. Then we got right here. Pikachu Rockstar or Pikachu Popstar. You ch your choice will determine the in-game music that will play for you during the event. The Pokemon music producer, Januki Masuda, uh, Masuda, has produced brand new tracks for Pokemon Go Fest 2021, including a rock and rolling track for Pikachu, for Pikachu Rockstar fans. A high energy electric pop song for Pikachu Pop Star Sands and more. Cool, I guess. You also get to fill out the rest of your music group where you pick Galarian Ponyta or is it Galarian Zigzagoon, Gardevoir, or Flygon. All these Pokemon will be dressed and impressed in special event costumes. Okay, so Flygon, Gardevoir, Galarian Zigzagoon, and Ponyta will all have special stuff. Oh, okay, uh, I'll take Zigzagoon, thank you very much, and I'll take. I gotta see the costumes on Gardevoir and Flygon. I think I want Flygon, but if Gardevoir is wearing like a sick costume, I might pick that one. The Global Arena is back this year. On Saturday, ticket holders will work together to complete a collaborative challenge each hour. If they complete the challenge in time, that will earn a bonus for the remainder of hour. Pretty cool, okay. You'll be able to complete four collection challenge, each themed after a habitat hour. During each habitat hour, certain Pokemon will be attracted to incense, jungle, unknown F, unknown G, Ludicolo, Chatot, Leafeon, and Superior. Wow, Leafeon on an incense. That's pretty cool. I, I'm a fan of that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of that. I could get behind that. Let's see. Desert Mountain, Flareon, unknown F and G. Okay, so that looks like it's going to be on all of them. Tyranitar, Flygon, and Throw. So Throw is a new shiny, I believe. So... That's cool. Tyranitar, that is sick. XL candy is galore if you get a few of those. Flareon, cool. Flygon, very cool. Okay, Ocean. Gyarados, Vaporeon, Azumarill, unknown F, unknown G, and Sock. So Sock, another new shiny. Gyarados, sick Pokemon. Obviously, shiny is amazing. I love the red shiny. Who doesn't love a red Gyarados? Vaporeon, very cool. Azumarill, cool. Then we got Cave, Umbreon, Unknown F, Unknown G, Gardevoir, Absol, Gavantula. Absol is a super sick shiny, Gardevoir, nice. Gavantula, all right, but Umbreon, very cool as well. During event hours, Pokemon appearing in the wild and attracted to incense will have an increased chance to be shiny. It will be easier to discover shiny Pokemon in the wild than those attracted by incense on Saturday than on Sunday. Oh, no. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Pokemon, go. Pokemon Go. Why would you do this? No, no, no. Okay, so it sounds like if you want shinies, a lot of shinies, grind really, really hard on Saturday for shinies because they're going to be less common than it is on Sunday. So that's, ah, that's kind of bad. I'm kind of mad at that. I'm not going to lie. You might as well keep the shiny rates. So like, why lower them? I don't understand. Um, sorry if you guys can hear this background and stuff a lot of construction around me but wow oh damn so they're gonna have 
On Sunday, there's going to be lower shiny chances than on Saturday. That kind of sucks. Shiny Unknown F, Shiny Throw, Shiny Sock will be making their Pokemon Go debut during the event. Okay, cool. So, three brand new Shiny uh, shiny Unknown F. I want that for the F in chat memes. That is awesome. I'll take that. Pokemon Go Fest Day 2 Raid. Okay, here comes the money. On Sunday, July 18, 2021, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. local time, all trainers will enjoy the following. Sunday's gameplay will be focusing on raids, and some of your favorites will be returning for this epic celebration. Okay, then return my favorite dark ride, please. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just hoping for a shiny Palkia and Diago. That's the one I really want. That's the one I'm begging they put. Maybe bring back Garatina. I would very much take that. Um, let's see. Miss any Pokemon the first day of the event? Don't worry. All Pokemon appearing more frequently in the wild on Saturday will be appearing again on Sunday during the event hours. But what they're not saying here is that they're going to have lower shiny chances. So, big rip. But, yeah. On Sunday, July 18th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. local time, ticket holders will be able to enjoy the following. Earn an extra 10,000 XP in a raid rewards when you complete a raid battle. So, double raid XP, right? So, no, well, what is it? 12,500. So, you get 22,500 for each raid. On a lucky egg, that will be pretty good. I mean, that's 40, no, 40, no, yeah, 44k, 45k, sorry. Uh, so, not bad at all. Um, spin gym photo discs to earn up to 10 raid passes, okay, in person. Complete time research to earn 8 remote raid passes. That is good. And you get a free bundle containing 3. So that's 11 remote raid passes you can get for free. That's that's pretty cool. All Pokemon attracted to incense from Saturday will be attracted to incense during the Browsers of Sunday. So cool. Uh, that means wait, that means Tyranitar's on Sunday too. So that's really cool. Like that. Both days. And that's all for what's exclusive on each day. So not a lot. They're not gonna tell us the Pokemon for the raids, okay? Hopefully, 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 we get some really, really good legendaries. They always bring us the heat. I'm hoping for, my dream would be Darkrai, Garantina, Palkia, Dialga, and mm, let me put one more in there. My dream would be those four plus Rayquaza, because why not? I do have shi two shiny Rayquazas, one that's 96%, but come on, it's the nicest shiny legendary. Maybe bring back Mewtwo, but they wouldn't do that. Um, both days, and that's what's cool for you to say. All trainers can expect these to be on both days. Trainer photos will be featured in today view. Okay. All lured modules during the event will last three hours. Cool. Special music. Yeah. One half axe hatch distance. That's cool. Hatching from 7k eggs includes Igglybuff, Ching, Kling, and Aldino. So two new shinies in those eggs. So that's cool. Event exclusive field research tests, special on map visual effects, and more. Okay. I guess. That's average. Ticket holders can expect both days in the event. Open gifts or spins Pokedops to get special event stickers. Who cares? No offense. Take snapshots on both event days for a surprise. So unknown F and G will be attracted to incense throughout the event. If you're lucky, you may encounter a shine one. Oh, so wait. Is unknown F and G only for the, the ticket holders? Oh, interesting. You, so they're just not going to be on incense for the non-ticket holders? Okay. Uh, okay and that's not all google play is an official sponsor okay google play points if you have google play if you have like an android i guess you go there how to purchase one and yeah okay sounds good we can't wait for you to experience the musical adventure we have in store while we've yet to meet again in the same park and under the same sky we hope this year's experience can make playing with your friend favorite playing from your favorite players feel extra special and then please be aware of your sound all that. So f the big takeaways for this is $5. That's amazing. Amazing, amazing. That's great. But I feel like they kind of downgraded a little bit from last year. It's still insane. Don't get me wrong. But they kind of downgraded from last year. Like, why would you lower the Shinies rates from one day to the other? At least, at least. Let's say if, okay, let's say if it's a 3% Shiny rate, make it a 1.5. Cut it in half. Okay. But they're still better than normal shiny rates. So that's the question I want to know. Is Sunday's shiny rate going to be the same as about like the normal shiny rate? Or is it going to be a little bit higher than normal? And is Saturday just going to be insane shiny-wise? Because that's what I need to know. And then we got here, we got big things. Dino 
spawning in the wild. Galorian Stumpfist spawning in the wild. That could be really good for PvP purposes. We got um, Tyranitar in the wild. That's XLK and Galore. Then we got a bunch of raids coming. Um, in my opinion, GoFest is always amazing. So this is going to be amazing regardless, right? Like we have a bunch of other spawns. I'm hoping that in the caves they have Zubat. Oh, please. I don't have a shiny Zubat. I need that desperately. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's a very, very cool event. I wonder what the, if they're going to have, like, the way that the Kanto Tour did, that, like, event exclude, like, um, uh, type exclusions, right? Like, so, like, is Pokemon Popstar and Pokemon Rockstar going to be, uh, is there going to be a difference between the two besides the music? I'm definitely going with Pokemon Rockstar. That is 100% right now, like, without knowing, like, the exclusives, but it just looks cooler, no offense. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, this is a, look, a great event. Pokemon Go Fest is always one of the best events of the year. I know I'm just rambling at the moment, but, yeah, I mean, if I were to give this event just off what I'm seeing right now, I would probably say that Cancel Tour was a little bit better. And that's hard to say. I know it's a two-day event, but that's hard to say. But just, let's say if we could just compare Saturday to the one day we had for Canto Tour. I think Canto Tour was better because problem is is that saturday is just shiny hunting galore right and that's basically canto tour and canto tour was two hours longer and now day two is going to have lower shining rates than day one and there's not going to be i mean it's sure it's going to have the same spawns but it's not going to be this you know like the hype from day one to day two it's going to be all the hype in the raids so they better really really hype up these raids if they want to save sunday in my opinion but hey five dollars is a giant w and that's gonna be it for the video again five dollars is a huge w but thank you guys for checking this video i'm sorry for the background noise if you guys can push through that i and i apologize for that just so much construction around my house right now and i have family over so i'm recording on the balcony so <laughs> sorry about that but 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 we got a huge w here it is just a great event I think it could be better, potentially, but I think it's, you know, it's still an amazing event. I think it's still, you know, I would still say it's about a 9 out of 10, while I say the Canto Tour was about a 9.5 out of 10, because the Canto Tour had everything, had Raze, had uh, just, you know, nostalgic Pokemon, made you remember of your days when you first started playing the game, and GoFest is amazing, incredible, beyond incredible, but I think... They missed the mark with some things, but hopefully these raids are just absolutely crazy so that, you know, the, the big thing is, right, also, though, that the Pokemon Go community has been asking for, you know, kind of like a day for raids by itself because it's hard to catch and want to do these raids at the same time, right? So I, I guess I get where they're coming from, right? Because if you have a, you know, a bunch of raids and you're like, oh, but, you know, like, I just have so many raids that uh, it makes you kind of choose between raids and spawns. I guess they're making it so that spawns is day one, go crazy, and then day two is all about raids. So I'm a giant fan of this event, right? But I'm still saying nine out of 10, just without the raid bosses, it could definitely go up to nine and a half or 10 out of 10. Canto Tour for me was a nine and a half out of 10, only because it can't be a perfect 10 out of 10 because of the little mishaps, right? They had, they didn't explain the raids properly, I don't think. The, the shiny rate, I think, was actually a little bit low. I mean, I did get 17 shinies, and I did only play in a downtown area for about two, three out, two hours. I think two hours and, like, 15 minutes. Because, for me, I was in Pennsylvania at the time, and it was absolutely freezing because I go to school in Pennsylvania. It is It was absolutely freezing, so it was hard to stay outside that long. So I kind of got, you know, a little bit screwed in the event. But this one should be absolutely amazing. I'm a big fan of GoFest, obviously. Every year it's amazing. But I think they just missed the mark a little bit. The thing that sucks is, you know, the they announced Sock and Thor, Throw, I don't know how to say it. Um, if they just announced those, and those are regionals, I believe. So does that mean no Shiny Head Across? Because I was really, 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 really excited for Shiny Head Across. I really thought it was coming this year. So I hope they just go out of nowhere and they're just like, hey, shiny head across too. You know what I'm saying? 
because last year they re they released Heat More and uh, what was the other one? And those were brand new shinies, and they didn't really announce them in the announcement. So I'm just hoping, boom, Head Across just shows up, you know. But either way, I think these raids will be sick. I think there will be good mega raids. There will be good normal raids. There will be good legendary raids. I saw that Dino is going to be in raids. So yeah, comment down below what you guys think about the event. I know this is probably my longest video ever, but it's just a huge event, jam packed. I have to talk about it. It's Go Fest, you know. So. I cannot wait to make a video on GoFest, you know, later on, like when, when it comes, and that video is going to be crazy. I'm going to grind so hard, it's not even funny. Hopefully we can get a shiny dino, but that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for checking this out. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. And that's going to be it for the video. Again, $5 is a huge W, but thank you guys for checking this video. I'm sorry for the background noise. If you guys can push through that, I'm... And I apologize for that. Just so much construction around my house right now. And I have family over. So I'm recording on the balcony. So <laughs> sorry about that. But, 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 but we got a huge W here. It is just a great event. I think it could be better potentially. But I think it's, you know, it's still an amazing event. I think it's still, you know, I would still say it's about a 9 out of 10. While I say the Cancer Tour was about a 9.5 out of 10. Because the Canto Tour had everything. It had raids, had uh, just, you know, nostalgic Pokemon. Made you remember of your days when you first started playing the game. And GoFest is amazing, incredible, beyond incredible. But I think they missed the mark with some things. But hopefully these raids are just absolutely crazy so that, you know, the, the big thing is, right, also though, that the Pokemon Go community has been asking for you know kind of like a day for raids by itself because it's hard to catch and want to do these raids at the same time right so I, gu I guess i get where they're coming from right because if you have a you know a bunch of raids and you're like oh but you know like i just have so many raids that uh I, it makes you kind of choose between raids and spawns i guess they're making it so that spawns is day one go crazy and then day two is all about raids so I'm a giant fan of this event, right? But I'm still saying 9 out of 10. Just without the raid bosses, it could definitely go up to 9.5 or 10 out of 10. Canto Tour for me was a 9.5 out of 10. Only because it can't be a perfect 10 out of 10 because of the little mishaps, right? They had, they didn't explain the raids properly, I don't think. The, the shiny rate, I think, was actually a little bit low. I mean, I did get 17 shinies, and I did only play in a downtown area for about two three out two hours i think two hours and like 15 minutes because for me i was in pennsylvania at the time and it was absolutely freezing because i go to school in pennsylvania it is it was absolutely freezing so it was hard to stay outside that long so i kind of got you know a little bit screwed in the event but this one should be absolutely amazing i'm a big fan of go fest obviously every year it's amazing but i think they just missed the mark a little bit the thing that sucks is you know the they announced sock and thor throw i don't know how to say it um if they just announced those and those are regionals i believe so does that mean no shiny head across because i was really 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 excited for shiny head across i really thought it was coming this year so i hope they just go out of nowhere and they're just like hey shiny head across too you know what i'm saying because last year they, re they released heat more and uh, what was the other one and those were brand new shinies and they didn't really announce them in the announcement. So I'm just hoping, boom, Head Across just shows up, you know. But either way, I think these raids will be sick. I think there will be good mega raids. There will be good normal raids. There will be good legendary raids. I saw that Dino is going to be in raids. So, yeah. Comment down below what you guys think about the event. I know this is probably my longest video ever. But it's just a huge event, jam-packed. I have to talk about it. It's Go Fest, you know. So I cannot wait to make a video on go fest you know later on like when when it comes and that video is gonna be crazy i'm going to grind so hard it's not even funny hopefully we can get a shiny dino but that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for checking this out i will see you guys in the next one peace and that's gonna be it for the video again five dollars is a huge dub